Hi guys, Russell here from homebrewerrepublic.co.nz. Welcome to a two minute brew review for the Mangrove Jacks Czech Pilsner. We're gonna check out three things today. The kit itself, the finished product, and any special instructions and other ingredients you're gonna to need to get this brew fermenting. This is the kit itself. It comes with style appropriate yeast, which is under the lid. According to the description, what we are brewing is a light and delicate Pilsner, which is a great first quencher. The target ABV is 4.5% and the IBU, or International Bitterness Units, is 32 to 42, so a really easy going through to mid level of bitterness. Here we go, the finished product. What we get is a really, really light, bright, golden color, beautiful white head, very light malt character, it's great, definitely dark floral herbal hints, a slight spicy sort of peppery tone on the back, but incredibly crisp, incredibly easy going and great drinking. Let's talk special instructions and additional ingredients. According to the kit, it will be tolerant to ferment between 18 and 28 degrees, but the instructions do note for best results you want to ferment at around 22 degrees. In terms of additional ingredients, the only thing you need is a source of fuel for fermentation. You can use a kg of dextrose, liquid brewing sugar, enhancer, or liquid malt extract. We always prefer liquid malt extract for a little bit more body and a smoother mouthfeel. And if you go that way, we would suggest you use an ultra light. Here's a couple of optional ingredients you can consider. If you want to use a premium brewing yeast, we'd suggest you have a look at the Safe Lager S189 or the Mangrove Jacks M54 Californium Lager Yeast. If you want to dry hop this brew, we'd recommend checking out the Czech Saz Hop, which is perfectly suited for this brew. All that said guys, this is a great brew, we enjoyed making it, we enjoyed drinking it even more, and we hope you do too. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers.